Hi guys, today I'm actually going to be doing a, something a bit different to do with Pokemon trading card game. I'm going to be showing you some fake Pokemon cards. I didn't buy these myself. A friend got them for me. They know, they know who they are. Uh, so thank you to them. Um, so yeah, I've got two fake X's and a fake one from Platinum. I think it was Platinum Arceus. So they're all the fake cards, and I'll be going through them one uh, card at a time. So the first one we're going to go through is the oldest here, and that is the Platinum, well, I think it's Arceus Platinum, something like that. I haven't got any cards that are this old, really, from this series. But it is the rare Arceus, it's supposed to be holographic. Because if I show you the real card, I've got the picture of the real card, I don't actually have the real card. Whilst I'm doing that, you can see the back is really washed out. Borders are too small. Or if you can even see that, the borders are too small. It just it looks really bad. It doesn't look like a real Pokemon card from the back. Text is all wrong as well. I'll actually show you in comparison to another Platinum Pearl and uh, that sort of area. Right, there's a picture of the real one. So it isn't just the phone, um, the iPod screen, it is actually supposed to be a lot brighter. She looks like night time because of the photocopying. It's also supposed to have this hollow design along the bottom. It doesn't show that at all on the bottom there. And then the rule is the same. I actually thought that was a fake feature, but no, the rule is the same. But yeah, the card is a lot different. And here's the other Platinum Pearl Lira. So you can see the text is wrong. It's like got this, I don't know how you'd explain it. It's just a different text overall. I call it more Western text. Other people would disagree with me when I say that, but yeah, to me it just looks more of a Western y text to that. It's more normal that one. I don't really see anything wrong with the underlay, it might just be me. Oh wait, no, yeah, the under below it is different, that's the real one, that's the fake one. And then obviously the description is different as well. It is different italics. And then, it do I don't know whether all of them had that code, I'll just check quickly. No, it is just the quillfish that has this code, so that isn't another marker. If I turn them over, you can see that the quillfish is definitely real. You can see the borders are nice and clear. Everything's a lot more clearer than on the fake one. And obviously, you don't have to rip them up, but if you did rip up a real card, you'd see that they have a grey bit inside. If you look really closely, you can actually see the grey bit from the side of the card, but you just have to look extremely closely. And then on the fake ones, I've actually got a, the Magiana later, is pre-ripped at the corner, so I'll show you then. But literally, fakes are just literally two bits of paper or cardboard sti uh, literally stuck together. So here's the Gardevoir, you can actually hear, I don't know where you can hear that, but that doesn't sound very nice. I'm not actually going to scratch up a real one. I might scratch a real one, but the fake ones don't sound very nice. Not that you would scratch a real one, but um, this is the real one. Like real one next to it, it looks even though it's in a sleeve, it does look a lot better. You can definitely see the hollow design. The back has obviously got the same issue on the fake one. Only the borders are a bit better. I'd give them that. The borders are a bit thicker. Yeah, it does look photocopied. However, not as bad as the Arceus one. Arco uh, the Arceus one was a lot worse. But yeah, without taking it out of the sleeve, you can see Gardevoir Rex is a lot better looking. Like the real one's a lot better looking than the fake. Fake's also darker because of the hollow design again. And as I say, the back's weird as well. Finally, we have the Magiana X. The fake one 
is miscut along the sides. That's the same case with the Maggie, uh, not Maggie, and the Gardevoir. It's really miscut along this side, and the bottom as well. It's oh, like it's more pointing this way, so they've got more image over that way. It's a really weird cut on that Gardevoir. And the Magiana suffers the same issue, only it is much worse. I actually think the Pokemon and the main card was actually uh, blown up, like, and then the borders have just been taken out completely. Yet again, they managed to keep the borders as close to real. If you can actually see them, yeah, you can see them on camera, but they kept, tried to keep them as close to real. They are, yet again, I think they're better than Arceus. No, I'd say they're nearly the same. But I think Gardevoir, yeah, Gardevoir is probably the best one. But yeah, same thing there. Not nice sound when scratched. Um... Yeah, again, I'm not saying scratch your cards. Do not scratch your cards, especially if they're real. And then, as you can see, I'll try and open this up a bit more. You can see it is actually two bits of cardboard stuck together. Uh, it's not going to focus, but it, if yeah, you can kind of see it. But yeah, it's literally two bits of cardboard just stuck together with super glue, PV, a whatever you want to stick it with. And it is also not hollow. It also looks really bad and it's actually washed out. I don't know whether that's because of the hollow design, but yeah, and the back is pretty bad. This I actually is in a different sleeve, isn't it? See, it is in a different sleeve, but you can still see that the back looks a lot better. Side by side, you can see Maggie Earn, even though the camera's not focusing. Real one is a nice and shiny. It actually looks nice, no washout. And it, yeah, it's just overall pretty nice compared to the fake. And also on the gold one, like on the gold, on the EX rules, the hollow effect just stays. I forgot to point that out, but the hollow effect on the gold parts and the X's just stay where they are no matter where you hold it to the light they're supposed to move around like so which is probably why my camera stops focusing every now and again on them so yeah that was some fake Pokemon cards yeah again thanks to the person who gave them to me I'll try and get a reward out to you because they've also been giving me real cards. I might review them in the future. Like real old school ones. So yeah, I might show them off. It really depends on what I'm feeling like. But yeah, this is fake Pokemon cards. They do do fakes as soon as a set's released, I'm guessing, because Steam Siege isn't actually that old. It's only like two, three months. And then obviously this one's years old. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And again, I'm sorry I didn't have one of these, but I wasn't collecting Pokemon cards when they were released. So yeah, and I'll see you in the next episode.